finale of Brooklyn Edition Ruin Who, and it is appropriate. And the, the, the powers that be made it happen because this is Lady Zombie. Let's go. And um, Halloween is began, but as you said for you, it's Halloween every day. How long does it take you to get ready? Because you are freaking gorgeous. Thank you so much. And, and I've seen you even out of this. You you're see still gorgeous. They call it drag, right? Anyway, no matter what. So when I my daughter wants wants to be a drag queen. I mean, I'm totally a drag queen. Oh my god! I but it. but I have I have a I have a vagina. Let me just be clear. But she's a gorgeous <laughs> all the time. I'm gonna say that because it's true. Let me tell you, all the time it happens. Anytime I'm doing a show, if there's a lot of drag. Like actual drag queens in the room, yeah. and men dressed up in drag. They always say, "Are you a biological woman?" And I go, "Yes, I am." You know, I mean, you yeah. have to tell them because it's just yeah. insanity. But it's so it's great true. to meet a drag queen with a vagina. I know. Yeah. It's, well, it's uh, a special day. But I think there's, I think, I think a lot of women, or there is definitely an amount of women that have just as much fun being in drag. Yeah. As I love to be in drag. And so does my daughter. When you. Look, maybe she has to have a wings. drag queen as a roommate so she can oh learn God. how to do her makeup. And you know what? They, she she said, makes, I'll she share makes, my She makes me want to dress up. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would love to dress you up one day. Oh, my God. Yes. That's a good offer. <laughs> wow. You just won the lottery. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm feeling lucky, right? <laughs> so where are you going tonight? So tonight I am hosting um, something that we call the Subspace Cosplay Fetish Ball. And we've been on hiatus from the event that I produced Subspace for a long time. And where is so it going to be? It's going to be at the new Lucky Chang's oh. on West 57th. Yeah. New Lucky Chang's? Yeah. Oh, it used to be in the Lower East Side, but they right, closed right, that right, one down. I used to live over there. Yeah, yeah. So I'd it's at the new one. I'd see them. You know? I'm so excited. It's right down the block from Roseland. So oh, the Lamb man. of God concert's going on tonight. So I expect to see lots of people coming through afterwards. Wow. And it's going to be fun. Wow. So cosplay. I have to see the yeah. new Lucky Chains anyway. explain yeah. to me exactly? I mean, I was just at Comic-Con. Everything is cosplay. Cosplay. Cosplay like, is really just being a character. And, and it can be any character. It doesn't have to right. be anime. It can be any well, what character person. are you Lady Zombie? I am Lady Zombie. Yeah. Yes. All the time. Yeah. I am my, so tell me about this character. That so... You are. Lady Zombie is just, Lady Zombie is me. I am Lady Zombie. I created Lady Zombie. I have become Lady Zombie in every aspect of my life, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's cool. So it's and kind of like a play on the, on the Bride of Frankenstein. Not right? necessarily. Check this out. Because there's a little so, bit of that eye stuff that the Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, but this, well, it's it's Halloween's coming yeah. up, so I have to, look, I got my nails done with corsets on them. Is my oh, whole secret awesome. corset nails? Yeah. <laughs> is that fun? So oh, I, I decorate my nails, too. Did you do Wow. <laughs> It, it I love it. Yeah, you know, I love it's like fun, thing. right? It's like all so, woman here. All but I totally thank you. I didn't even say how long it takes. I'm such no, a no. I didn't. I. All right, I knew I had to come here before I had to do the party, which starts at 10 o'clock tonight. Right. And, um, so you had to put your first layer on. Yeah, I had to put my first layer. So what I did was I put on the, at all of my clothes, except for the corset. I always do that last. And then I tied my hair up. You know, my natural hair is long, curly, huge. It's down to my waist. So I wrap the whole thing up and I put my wig on after I do my makeup. And then my course, it's a process. Yeah, but you know how to do it. So, and then what's funny is my mom comes to pick me up to drive me over here today. She wanted Aww. to be here with us. And so I'm trying to get in her car, right? And she has this, this little SUV. And I'm trying to, and my hair's too tall. So I'm like, okay, so I, I try to go in like butt first. And it's not working. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting caught on the, the inside doorway. So then I had to go in head first, but then I couldn't get my butt in the car, right? So eventually I figured out a way to kind of like I'm in a corset, so I can't bend over naturally. So now I figured out a way to kind of like bend in half and get myself in the car, and then I closed the door with my foot. It was amazing. You're kind of like a bizarro Bette Midler type thing. It's like, so. you know what? It's that's like not the first time I've heard that. I actually kind of dig it. Yeah, that's a compliment. That's cool, man. That's yeah. great. Focus, focus, oh, yeah. That was such a good movie. Oh, what yeah. other movies do you like? Now, I'm just curious. Like, What is a real zombie? You know what? Real zombies do exist. I mean, if you read into like, sure um, the culture of like, like, the Caribbean commercial. and everything, the Haitian islands, there's... There's there's zombies in all kinds now, of Now what is a zombie? Is a zombie real somebody zombie who's not is, dead yet? Like you know what that, that is it that's different. Story? Like what the it's different in so many cultures and in, so if you're talking about real zombies, these are people that have put into some 
they've been put into some kind of magical trance. So they're alive, but they're they're just going through life in like this. Do they state. eat people? Like people that I don't work think every so. day. Not really. I mean, jobs, right? now the, yeah. the real question that you want to ask is, do I eat people? Do you eat oh. people? I can't answer that. Because oh. <laughs> you're, like, you're like a vampire. Oh, oh no! I'm like okay. So check That's this out. a loaded out. question. No, this is yeah. totally loaded. Yeah. There's so many answers to her questions because I have like a multiple personality thing going on. That's fine. I, I have no problem with right that. You're a Gemini so, too, huh? <laughs> no, I'm a Leo. Oh, oh. oh. are you frightened? Now the claws no, of no, makes sense. So, <laughs> makes sense, yeah. Both of my parents the are the star. So mom's a cancer and dad was a Sagittarius. So okay. it was just like like drama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to you because so, oh, but you're a Leo, so you need girl spotlight right now. So that's fine. Yeah, exactly. So, star, you're so you're Leo, I'm right. just curious, what is the definition of zombie? It, again, it's it's so different. It's the real zombies that happen through the Hodu and the Voodoo cultures, and then you have the zombies from the movies, and there are so many of those. They're the ones that come yeah. from disease. They're the ones that come from magic. They're the ones that rise it's from the grave. Who the hell knows what zombies? Thriller, the thriller, yeah, the thriller zombies so are those dead people. Now, if the, or they're not dead people. They're, they have the they they're dead. Back to it's so different. They're reanimated, reanimated somehow, yeah. but nothing in them. Functions. They just have that. Na they zombies that walk. eat people. It's a natural instinct to feed a hunger, and it's a ceaseless hunger. And the reason they're so dangerous is because since they're not alive, they have no self-preservation instinct. So they will bite you until their jaw is broken and all their teeth fall out. And they but don't care about it. They don't care about it. Your they teeth. Let's it. look at your teeth. Are they? Oh 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 oh. Are those real? No. Those of course real. they're real. Oh. They're, they are as real oh. as. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, that is scary. It's <laughs> Halloween now, folks. I'm feeling that Halloween vibe coming up. Oh, boy. Now, on Halloween, oh, are you going to dress up or do you I not am. dress up? I dress up. Everybody's like, you know what, Halloween, Lady Zombie, that should totally be your day off. It's your vacation. What are you doing? I'm like, no, That's guys. your big day. Yeah. And it's I'm, like, you're like Santa for Halloween. I am Santa. I should be Santa. <laughs> That's a fantastic Santa. idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I might have to revisit that one oh, day. So, well, this course, it would work for Santa. It would. Well, I, I would probably do like a white and black kind oh, of motif more, yeah. more than just the... But You're like dangerous but fun. I'm going to Dracula's <laughs> Ball for Halloween in Philadelphia. I love ah. that party. It's a great party. So and it, I kind so of, is there a lot of blood I leave flowing? New York. No, no. I mean, it's just like it's Comedy Crisis performing, so it should be a lot of fun. It's like the whole subculture in Philly and some people from New York and whatever else, they go. And I like to support it. Since I spend my whole year working in New York City, I like, you know, I'll branch out a little bit on my vacation day where I still dress up and, you know, I'm still myself, so. So, um, like, what do you eat for breakfast? Um, this morning I had Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> oh, Philly <laughs> is in your mind. With a beer. <laughs> that was breakfast today. Um, were you asking if I drink the blood? No, no, no. no. no I'm I, just curious. I don't do that. That's not enough protein. No. It's iron. Ah. <laughs> protein, like meat. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, um, I'm more of a, a feline than a... Empire, so inner beast kind of thing. So when did you know you were Lady Zombie? Like when you were a little kid, did you dress up a lot? Yeah. Did she, Mom? I did. Yes. I did. I did. I would sneak out of the house. I would get changed in the Dunkin' Donuts, and I would go to the golf clubs. You know, uh, I was totally like, uh, yeah. Dunkin' yeah. Donuts was like, what the fuck is going on? So you were like Superwoman. I was. I would go in and come right back out in like five minutes. I can't do that phone booth thirty second thing. That's impossible. Right. You see this? <laughs> this yeah. is a 30 second project. No, it's not. It's not that long. I still didn't answer your question. I started getting ready at 12 and I was done at 2. So it does take time. Yeah. But do you take yeah. breaks? I take breaks. I like have a cigarette or yeah. something. Exactly. You know, watch like 666 Park Avenue. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like Netflix. <laughs> So, six, six, is that with um, Leslie and Warren? The guy from Lost. The guy from John Locke. Oh, yes, like John I can't Locke. stop calling him John Locke. There's a zombie guy. Scared. He rose from the dead in, in the you Lost. But, he came out of the coffin, right? He did. Well, in Lost. Yeah, he did come out of the coffin, yeah, too. There was, a lot, of, there was a lot of people coming back from the dead on that show. Did you know that? Yeah. I, I'm oh, thinking of sure. another show, Park Avenue or something. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's the same actor. That's six, what six, bring it's pretty cool. interesting. Yeah, it's cool. It's like ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. So you sing also. I do. Yeah, I so do. you yeah. have a musical career. As well. I sing. I sing. I, I'm actually singing on Sunday night at Kitty Nights NYC at Mug Lounge on, oh. in the Lower East Side. I'm hosting um, a burlesque show. It's from 9 to 10, 25 bucks. And I'm, I'm going to be singing a song. I'm singing a, a Twilight Zone 
Oh, theme kind of song. Wow. Which is gonna be cool. And you're gonna sing for us now, right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing you a verse from one of my newer songs okay. that I haven't released it online. I performed it once at a show, so it's um from a song called Elemental that I wrote for my best friend, Miss Mistress Lamorta. Love and you. It, yeah, you're right. I love you. And it's about um basically uh, a woman's power and how she doesn't have to be caged by men. All right, so I do electronic music, so it's totally weird without my background music, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to sing it in your room, okay? Okay. All right. <clears throat> I am water slipping through your fingers. Can't you see how no one is touched but you? Endless rain to quench your thirst and drown you. The beast that stalks you come before the kill. I'm a twist of destruction left behind me. Can't you see how no one is touched but you? Swim my waters, get swept out to sea. Your pretty padded cage doesn't impress me. Try to comprehend that which I am. Elemental, your humanity could never satisfy me. Try to comprehend that which I am. Elemental, your humanity could never satisfy me. Wow, I swear to God, man. I'm like looking at the lion, and I'm feeling like Britney Spears needs to do that I song. I feel bad. I'm like, I am so at you, and it's like the fangs and the lion, and I'm like, rawr. No, but I feel like she needs to do that song in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could see. It's really, the original is really cool because there's guitars and stuff, but I haven't released it on the website. That's a nice melody. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Cool. guitars and electronic. And yeah, you have an amazing voice, voice, man. You really have a I very mean, compelling voice. Thank you. It's great. Yeah. Wow. So, like, how often do you perform musically? Um, I do a couple of shows a month. Yeah. I do. I usually will do a song during someone else's show. I do a lot of variety shows, so I sing at burlesque shows. I sing at um, just... Wow standard like goth nights i'll do a song or something sometimes i'll do a set but i really like i love to MC. so i love to MC, and then maybe i'll do a song and then i'm just like in involving right. everybody and i'll do when a fetish show or something yeah like, like what kind of fetish well um i'm actually i'm actually on the hunt i'm gonna, I'm gonna post an ad now are you ready i'm looking for a petite and sexy submissive female that might be interested in A, flogging, B, paddling, C, spanking, oh and possibly scalpel play, but that's not mandatory. So that's your show. show is coming up. I'm looking, no, I'm looking for Whoa. someone else yeah. to have for me. But I see I those do, on Craigslist like all the time. Yeah, style. no, I produce, I produce yeah. fetish performances, but they're really theatrical, so yeah. they're, I'm actually oh. engaging someone in some kind of play. However, I, I, I script it. Like, I did a really funny show wow. once that was called Sandra D's Revenge. And I was Sandy from Greece. Okay. But I was, like, I was, I was at Sandy at the end of the movie where I was all sexy and leather and stuff. And I, the guy who was John Travolta, um, his character anyway, I was like, you know what? I don't want to be with you. And I beat him up because he made me change. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like that. So it's That's something cool. like that. I just okay. I take pop culture and I import. I, I was Hurricane... I. I destroyed Hurricane Sandy once. I was in New York City, and the submissive was Hurricane Sandy, so wow. I took out vengeance. <laughs> Where do you think this thing... Did you graduate high school? I did. I graduated high school. So I graduated Talent Unlimited Performing Arts High School. Oh, so you were always doing this. A lot of weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Well, I wasn't doing fetish performances No, I know, but you were being creative. <laughs> I was going to the show. Sorry, Mom. You know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she knows. The seeds were planted the way seeds before they were planted. Yes. So it is National Greasy Foods Day. Mm -hmm. um, there is a onion ring waiting for you from the branded salon. Rue, I can you give me the sauce? No, no blood on the sauce. No you know, blood on the sauce. No, it's, what is this? It's, like a, it's some kind of sauce. It's like, it's like, it's I like a nap sauce. sauce. I'm gonna it's, a like that. it's tangy. I'm going to okay. try it when, when, when okay, I know so this. So here's the thing. I've given uh, you skeleton. I've uh, given you some good skeletons. Yeah, you have. I've given oh, you running through the corn Oh, that was so stories. good. This yeah. one's got skeletons. Bro. I've got oh, skeletons. Yeah. I'm going to give such you... A good can I give you a this romantic skeleton? Yes, do. Okay, so I got married in May. Yay! Yay! Ali Fangsmith and I have officially tied The cutest man in the world? Yeah. Oh, my God. They are the cutest couple. Every time I see them together, it's like... It's crazy how adorable so the So we're, we're legitimate now. We are by like law, bling bling, all that. Um, so here's Has life changed? Is this no, a fetish? It hasn't changed, though. We, we, we got crazy. 
Yeah. Ooh. But I mean, it's it's very sweet. We we respect each other a lot. And but you've always had such yeah. a sweet relationship. Yeah, we have a really. I think as as wild as our as we are as our lives are, we have a really healthy relationship. Yeah, you're honest. We can be ourselves. Exactly. Yeah, and that's so rare. Exactly. So, um, and you know each other. Yeah, okay. I've, I've known forever. Since yeah, I was like 15 years old. That's that's in that's a tattoo shop when I was getting fangs. Sorry, mom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, the skeleton at our wedding. Not everybody knew this, but. Whoever's watching now, um, whoever was in attendance, part of our ceremony was we wrote our own vows. They were on these cool parchment scrolls and everything. We were reading them to each other. And once we read the vow, we would take a sip of the wine out of these custom-made gorgeous goblets that we had done, right? But what was in the goblets, it looked like red wine. It was, but it wasn't just red wine. So the skeleton is that the night before our wedding, we drew our blood and put them in vials. And the day of the ceremony, we poured it into the wine. And so during our wedding, we were actually taking ourselves into each other. Literally. Wow. wow. You know, I've heard things about that. That's the like satanic that. I'm gonna bite wedding. My, I'm going to bite my... The uh, satanic wedding. I mean right oh. now. Wow, that's Ooh. pretty cool, though. Like that's, I heard that, that women stuff, used man. to do that, oh. not tell guys. Oh, like, like they would put their blood? Yeah, put the blood there. And do you know what it means? It what means it that mean? they love you forever. Oh. Yeah. So if you do it to each other, I don't know. I don't either. But I, I heard someone once tell me that. Well, like, that's folklore. not my idea of eternal love. Um, well, they didn't. They didn't know. But, it, but you know, it's yeah. all kinds. But know? with you two, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I thought you're not wearing it in a vial. You no, I'm not it. wearing it right now. I just I thought it was really nice that, on top of just exchanging jewelry and a ring is a really symbolic thing because it's the endless circle right no beginning no end right but no but that's taking, pretty it's taking just, our life force into each other and saying i'm gonna stand by your side hunt at your back and fly within your soul forever that's great you know? so like um when you were a little kid were you ever a blood sister to somebody you, you know what I've, I've done i'm gonna put that down because it's okay. really greasy it's greasy, greasy day. Day. so now there's like glitter in my teeth um <laughs> I'm sure not for the first time. But, you know, I've never been uh, frightened of blood. And, yeah, I, I've done blood bonding with, like, people really close to me before. Yeah. In this day and age, though, you really can't do it. No, like, you like, can't. Because if someone has cooties, you're going to get them, yeah, too. Yeah, I, I really know. Blood. Exactly. I so, know. you know, it's a different time in space. Like, right. Like, for kids, you don't want to tell them to do that anymore. Because no. you just don't know. They shouldn't even be spit-shaking. Not for nothing. But spit is safe, I think. Ah. No, <laughs> she's like no. I'm, not... I'm a forensic cop. No. <laughs> oh wow! You learn everything on this show. I know, mom. You're a forensic. She's cop? A, she's a detective in the special victims unit. You're oh. SVA. Oh. SVU. SVU. Oh, so <laughs> wow! Oh, Do you hang out with Ice T? <laughs> <laughs> she has hot pink handcuffs that she locks up her. With. Kind of wow! Yeah. You're, you look like you could be on the show. She's that beautiful. Like right? yeah, wow! Awesome. All my friends love her. That's why she has a nickname with us and everything. She you feel safe me. driving around with her. I love driving around Exactly. Her. <laughs> she has wow. road rage, though. She can drive your blood sugar level. <laughs> she can. <laughs> wow. So would you like to push a button? I would. I'm going to push. This is going to be a good button. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push that one. I guess that's it. <laughs> so what's your website? So um, please check me out at uh, www.ladyzombie.com, spelled just the way it sounds. Yes. I'm also on YouTube, Twitter, Reverb Nation, everywhere. Just Google Lady Zombie, you will find me. Yeah, you're really an inspiration because you stand for so many things. You are all you stand for. Thank you. And you work really hard, and, and you never, you know, you never show it. I appreciate that. But I know how hard you work. You're a really hard working person and, and you make it effortless. Thank and you. it's like you're definitely a role model. I, I, I just want everybody to have fun. Cherry Vampirella type thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like a whole Vampirella. thing. Yeah. Me too. He's making great references. <laughs> well, that's what he's here for. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, there's Nothing always like a, place a happy for that. dominatrix. Right? There's a place for that, yeah, right? Yeah. So I just want to thank everyone for this day once again. Ruin Who Brooklyn. Mike with you. Thank you again for being here. You're adorable. Tom Turner, Val Kinsler, Kay Shoya. Sarah Sims, Paul, Paul DeCoster, 
and lovely lady zombie. And I need to thank Caroline Stewart, my beautiful girl, and all of you for sticking around. And the Brandon Saloon, we love you. We love and you, Brandon Saloon. We're every Wednesday at Auto Truck and Head, and that's where we'll be next week. Hallow's Eve! Yeah! Hallow's Eve! Yeah. 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 Yeah.